Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds, and today I want to show you guys a really cool mod that I'm be playing with, which is the Gears mod. Now, I like to play around with a lot of stuff that revolves around gears. Instead of building it on my own, uh, this mod will actually take the place of that entire assembly. So basically what I have done right now is that you could put two gears together and it actually comes with this little hole block and then these tubes that you could actually stick stuff in. So this is a vertical mount gear that I was just testing and I have my little loader over here that I could play around with. But if I was to actually turn this around, um, it will actually turn the gears together. Now I'm super excited for this because I wanted to build some sort of engine or uh, speed things. A lot of things that, like I said, involves around gears. So again, this is a very cool mod that I'm going to be playing around with. Um, this is not leveled out to be perfect. It will eventually slide out, but just for testing purposes, you could see that this works. Now it also has a lot of other gears that I could play around with. So um, first you can play with this gear, which is the one that you see right here. So we could drop that down and you'll see that. Uh, next up is this big thing, not this one. Um, this one right here that will angle towards another gear. So it's not a full complete gear. You would have to match it together. So if I was to drop this down and put this in its place, rest the gear on top. Also that, this gear goes with this guy. And that's one gear, which is a uh, three by three, 24 tooth uh, top. So if I was to angle that with this, the gear ratio would be slightly different. And we also have the even bigger one. Oh, they have this spot, this one that I was just trying to play around with. And I need to use this teeth. Yes, this one. Wow. And there we have another gear, whoops, which is even bigger. And this one has 40 teeth. And then I think that's the biggest one they have. Then they have uh, the smallest one. This one, then the rod, and then you have these plain sliders that you could like use it for elevators or something like that. Uh, you could use half gears for certain things if you're trying to make like a loader or something. Let me see, they also have um, the small versions of these things. Oh, look at this beveled gear does this work for big stuff let me see if i could put it put on top of this i cannot put on top of this so these bevel gears are only for i guess small grid that's what it looks like is there a big version of these bevel gears i think there is uh this is small this is small legacy uh spur gears So no, there is no big version of the small spur gears, which is even better because I actually play around with a small grid a lot and I could turn it into like some sort of gears or some sort of transmission or if anything differential. Um, oh my God, I'm so excited for this stuff. Let me see if I could combine that piece that I need over right here. Where is it? How come it's not? Oh, I just had it. Oh, okay. It's on the floor, so I can't do it. But you can match this up with that and make yourself a little spur gear or even, like I said, a differential. That's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, so this whole thing is meant to be played around with gearing. Actually, you know what? If I was to balance this out with a small gear, it might not even slide out anymore. There you go. It might actually just run pretty good like this. And then I could actually add more rotors and more other stuff. I could get different gears. Oh my gosh. I could do so much with this. I could build this type of setup and put wheels on there. Can I actually put big wheels on here? 
I'm testing this out as I'm going with you guys. Just the excitement of this is pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I could put a tire on here. I can. I mean, the idea is if I was to build a transmission with actual gears, I could probably get really high speed on rear wheel drive. And if there's not much clang, which doesn't look like there is, um, I might be able to get that done. So let's see if I spun this really quick and see if it blows up. Uh, rotor, velocity, let's spin this up. Look at that, there's no clang. So there's no sparks are here. Uh, there's clang inside there. So we might not be able to use this as a assembly, but we might be able to put this on a rotor. Yeah, it seems like it's gonna work. Even though I might not even use this, I might use uh, the small grid and use those um, this type of uh, gear, like these pointy ones. If I use this type of gear or this type of gear, I might be able to get it without clang and put some, use it with rotors. All right. Yeah, the idea is to get this to play with gears. Man. All right, guys. Um, I'm not going to keep you on for that long. This was a really short video of what might be coming in the near future. Uh, this was something I really wanted to play around with, and I'll leave the link down in the description for the mod. But ultimately, um, this is the, the result. We're going to be playing around with a lot of gears, and we'll see where we go from here. Uh, I might play, start playing around with the contraption. I'm going to spend a bit of time trying to build some sort of contraption around here and see what I could use. But for now... Uh, my idea for this is to build some sort of transmission or some sort of engine, uh, rotor powered obviously, but uh, with different speed variables so I could have like a full transmission or high speed travels with all these gears. Anyway, that is it for me guys. I know it's a short one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.